Hi everyone, my name is Massimo. I am a Microsoft Technical Trainer and one of the experts in the MTT Infrastructure Learning Room. In this video, I would like to talk briefly about uh, Azure Tags. Azure Tags are, are uh, a feature in Azure, very important to manage the governance your your uh, resources. What uh, before before I show you a demo, I show you a, a scenario. I would like to uh, say what is uh, what Azure Tags are in theoretical uh, point of view. Uh, Azure Tags are a sort of metadata you can apply to resources, resource group, and uh, subscription. It is a key value pair. It means uh, you can set uh, a key, for example, project, and the value, uh, finance. It's up to you what kind of keys you want to use or what kind of values you want to use. And attach this, uh, uh, key, this uh, tag to your resources. Uh, this tag allows you to filter your resources uh, for two perspectives. Cost. So you can say, hey, I want to know what is the cost of my uh, project finance. Or you can, uh, uh, for example, uh, governance. I show you briefly in, in a demo. You can say, I want to know what are the resources that have uh, this kind of uh, tag, for example. Because, for example, I want to retrieve the list and then on that list, uh, I want to do something. Okay, so you can use for govern for cost for governance, and you can, uh, as I said, you uh, in in the beginning of this video, you have a scope, uh, a set of scope you can uh, use to for the tag, subscription. You can set uh, up to fifty tags. For each uh, uh, subscription, you can set to a uh, resource group. Or you can set on single resource. So it means uh, you you can set the metadata, whatever you want, and you can filter a subscription, a resource group, a resource. Uh, there is no. Uh, Hierarchy automatization between tags. So it means if I put a, tags, a tag in, in a resource group and I create a resource inside the resource group, uh, uh, the resource uh, um, doesn't inherit the, the tag from resource group. It exists in preview uh, feature. I show you where you can find and how you can uh, enable. But uh, in, in this particular feature, uh, the resource inside the resource group or inside the subscription receive the tag only for the cost perspective, perspective not uh, physically. So if you open a, a resource that uh, are that is in a, in a resource group with the uh, automatic hierarchy uh, inheritance, uh, you don't see the, the, the tags, but you can uh, filter the resource for the perspective for the cost perspective. So the idea is. Uh, I can use the tag to, uh, yeah, to, for example, uh, understand uh, after a, a time frame how much uh, a, a project, an environment, or something similar costs. I, I, I would like to, uh, to, to show you in the portal how you can set a tag. So, for example, here. We are in, in, the, in the subscription and uh, you can set the tag for a subscription for a resource group or a resource using the tags played here. So for example, this is, uh, uh, yeah, I can, uh, and I can create environment, uh, and sorry, environment demo. So as you can see, this is the key, this is the value, that's all. I apply and uh, starting from now, this subscription has its own tag composed by a key environment and uh, value demo. I can do the same in uh, a resource group. For example, if I go there, I set two tags, 
one project MTT learning room and the other one environment demo, I can set up to 50 tags for each resource group. And uh, I show you later, I can filter the resource group for this tag. Exactly the same if I create here a new uh, a new storage account, for example, just to, to choose a, a simple resource. I set the name, uh, entity link, link room, room store, just to, to find a, a name, perfect, I don't want this one, just simple. Here I have um, a, 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 yeah, a step of the wizard that allow me to set up uh, the tags uh, while I'm creating the resource, or I can uh, add the tags after. There is no problem. So, for example, here I can create a new one, but I can choose the list of the actual tags I have in the in the in my in my subscription. So, for example, project, and for example, empty learning room, and I don't know environment. Uh, yeah, demo. That's all. In this case. Uh, as you can see, uh, I can uh, say I want to add the same tag for different resources in the same time. I'm creating a storage account, so for me it's okay to select all. Review and create. And uh, uh, at the end of the creation, I can see that in the overview uh, or in the tag uh, blade, uh, I, I have the list of the Two tags uh, I I add in the in in the resource. I would like to show I would like to show another thing. I go again in the in the resource group. I remember this resource group contains two tags, and I want to create another storage account without set uh, without setting the the tag. So again, storage account. It's okay. In the meantime, uh, the previous one is finished. A storage account, uh, I set another um, entity learning uh, room uh, two. Okay. It's perfect. And I review and create. So in this case, uh, I uh, don't set the, the tag. And I want to show you that uh, this resource, even is uh, in, uh, in a resource group uh, with the tags, uh, uh, will not have uh, the, the the tag itself, so we wait for the we wait for the creation. Two seconds. And uh, in the meantime, I can go to the previous one. This is the previous one. Previous one, and. Here I can see the, the the tags because I set the tags and at uh, at the creation time. If I go back here, I can find a new one. Wait for a moment, and in the few seconds, I can see the new one. And that's all. Perfect. This one has no tags. Okay, so you don't have uh, an inheritance. Uh, from the storage from the from the resource group to the to the storage account in this case how you can set uh, the uh, storage uh, you can set the inheritance if you want it is a uh, in preview i go to cost management uh, wait for a moment and uh, manage subscriptions here you have the tag inheritance this is a preview uh, you need to enable uh, but remember this uh, uh, inheritance is just for cost. So if you enable the inheritance and my uh, my my subscription has this uh, feature enabled, you you don't see the uh, the tag inside the tag collection inside the tag list, but you can have a group a grouping of uh, yeah of uh, 
of the resource inside the resource group uh, with the with the tag. So uh, Azure use the tag uh, for a resource group in uh, the other resource inside the resource group for the cost uh, perspective, but not uh, in, in in actually. So you you can find you cannot find the tag inside the resource. I would like to uh, to show you a, a, a simple scenario. Imagine I am a trainer. Yeah, I, yes, I am a trainer. And I want to, uh, yeah, to um, to summarize uh, during the time, uh, during the, the year, the cost for each demos I show to my uh, students for each single delivery. So my delivery, maybe AZ305 or AZ204, and each delivery is, uh, uh, is, uh, has uh, its own ID. So, for example, the uh, delivery AZ305 uh, may be the um, yeah, ID, for example, uh, 51906, just to, to make an example. So, what I can do, I can create a store, I can create a resource group during the, uh, during the, the, the course, during the five days, uh, four days of the course, I can create the resource inside the resource group. And in the end, I can say, I want to know what is the cost for each single course, even if I, if I delete the resource group, because I set the right tag. But how can I create the tag? I can create the resource group and, and uh, be sure that when I create a single uh, resource inside that resource group, uh, the single resource can have the right tag. So let me, I, I go to the command line, and I create a, 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 bicep, a bicep template and that, that I will show you in, in a moment. I deploy this uh, kind of template. The template is called a delivery demo environment. When you start this delivery, which is, uh, sorry, this template, the template asks you uh, the, the yeah, the delivery type. For example, uh, I, I tell you this is an AZ305. And I and the, the template uh, ask you for a, a code, the, the ID, sorry, for the delivery. This is just a demo. So it, with this uh, uh, template, uh, I create the resource group. I set the tag on the resource group and I uh, set a couple of uh, policies. The, policy, the policies are, are the tool you can use to uh, validate to set up the right tag inside the resource in a resource group. So in this case, I create a resource group with a particular name. I use the, I use the name of the delivery for the, for the name of the resource group. I set a couple of policy. I show you the, the resource group immediately. I go there, go to resource group, and probably I can find this one. AZ305 demo. This is the resource group I created uh, two seconds ago. I go there and this is a couple of delivery, a couple of tag. I create a new resource, the same, another storage account. Okay. I use the storage account just because I need to set only the name. Okay, just simple. You can create the resource you want, it's not a problem. AZ305, AZ305, storage, demo one, I don't know, that. sorry, demo, storage one, it's okay, I don't want this one, it's perfect, review, I don't set any tags, I create a new one, and after in a month of time, I will find the new storage. And if I go to the uh, to the tag of the storage, I can see exactly the same tag I use in the in the in the resource group. I show you the template. This is the template I use in the to create. I simply assign this policy. I show you in a while what is this policy simply assign this policy to the resource group and this policy said uh, says uh, every time uh, someone create a resource in this resource group uh, a attach this kind of tag if the tag is not not exist and the tag is delivery and then the the value is the delivery type so delivery is 305 delivery id 
51906, the, the code. So it means that if I go there to the resource group and go there in the storage account, I can see the tag. But uh, I, I show you the, the policy. So I go here. Let me copy, let me copy the, the, the ID for the policy. And look for in the definition uh, pain, pain panel of the, the the policy. I can filter from this one, up and the tag and its value to resource. This is the policy that allow you to uh, inherit uh, automatically inherit uh, the tag from uh, from from a, from a resource group. Uh, honestly, this one uh, allow you to create a new tag uh, to append the tag. Uh, for the resource you create, there is another one that uh, uh, enable the inherited inheritance between the resource group and the policy. But the result uh, in my demo is the same. Why I create this kind of uh, tag every time I create my resource group for the demo for my courses? Because I can do this one. I can go to the cost management and uh, I can Say, hey, I want to uh, have a cost analysis, cumulate, cumulated cost. I want to know this year, so in the last uh, six months, for example, how much cost me the, mm, re the delivery. As when you when you choose the tag, uh, uh, Azure uh, uh, show you the list of the tag you created. Uh, in the last six months in this case, because you choose a six months of time frame, And I want to know what is the cost for my delivery in the last six months, my AZ, I don't know, 204 or AZ 305 in the last, uh, yeah, six months. In this way, I pay for $80 in the last uh, uh, six months just to show you monthly. And if I want, I can, for example, group by delivery ID. This is the cost. And this is the cost for January for a particular uh, yeah, delivery. The ID was uh, 47961 and so on. And I can do it uh, because I use the tag. These races group, were deleted when I finished the the, 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 the the course in January. So I, I cannot have the, the resource group in place, but I can have the cost because I use the, I use the, the tag in the right uh, in the right way in the in the in the in the in the in the resource group. You can set uh, manually, you can use a policy. Uh, the idea is uh, use uh, tag because tag allow you to uh, yeah group cost uh, for a different uh, time frame or for example you can group cost if you have resources in a, in a subscription or a, and resources in another subscription you can set the uh, yeah the scope for the cost uh, as ma the, the management group uh, over the uh, on top of the to a subscription and say i want the cost in this management group uh, for the resources that as at this kind of tag. So, uh, thank you for the for the patience. Uh, I would like. I hope this uh, this video uh, is uh, was useful, helpful for you. And see you in the next. Bye bye.